This is the IQ Neo 9. And sa video na to, we are going to talk about its specs, price, and features, and why this is the phone to get this 2024. Before we begin, if you are someone who loves tech news, tutorials, and unboxing videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe kasi nag upload ako ng mga exciting and helpful videos regularly. Okay, simulan na natin to with a quick unboxing. Pag open ng box, nandyan agad yung phone. And sa ilalim niyan is our free jelly case. Nothing special, standard lang siya pero maganda naman yung quality. We also have some paperwork, SIM ejector pin, USB Type-C charging cable, and our 120 watt power brick that can charge your phone to 40% in less than 10 minutes. This is the IQ Neo 9. And isa sa pinaka nagustuhan ko about this phone is the back design. So this is the red white color which is a dual tone leather finish. May two other color options ka pa in blue and black na glass naman yung back. Mas makapal at mas mabigat ng konti yung leather variant. Measuring 8.34mm thick and weighing 196 grams. Compared sa glass variants na 7.9mm thick and 190 grams naman yung bigat. These two panels are stitched together. And if you look closely, makikita nyo na top notch yung quality ng stitching. Meron siyang stitching dito which adds to the overall aesthetic quality of the phone. And if you zoom a bit, you will notice na magkaiba din yung type ng leather na ginamit sa kanila. Itong red part, ito yung typical na leather finish na nakikita natin. Pero itong white part, Para siyang may twill-like texture na first time ko nakita na ginamit sa smartphone. Sa may lower left, may embossed na IQ logo. And sa taas, nandiyan naman yung dual camera with an LED flash. Yung frame naman is made of plastic. Pero it feels sturdy enough, kaya hindi naman cheap yung dating. Sa top part, we have an IR blaster and a microphone. While the volume rockers and the power button is located on the right side. Sa bottom, we have our SIM card tray, another microphone, a charging port and a speaker grill. I got the 12256 gig for 23,500. But you can also get a 16256 gig, a 16512 gig, and a 161 terabyte. If you're interested in getting one, you can reach our friends from AHH Xiaomi Manila kasi dyan ko kinuha yung unit ko. I'll leave a link of their shop on the description box so check nyo na lang later. Sa harap naman, we have a 6.78 inch LTPO AMOLED display which supports up to 1 billion colors, HDR10+, 144Hz refresh rate, and 1400 nits of peak brightness. Yung display resolution niya is classified as 1.5K which is between FHD+, and WQHD+. So, in short, yung display nito is better than most mid-range phones. Kasi halos flagship level na yung makukuha mo. Perfect to if you love playing games like Asphalt 9 kasi mas ma-appreciate mo yung mga visual effects. The phone runs Android 14 based Origin OS 4.0. And since CN ROM yung unit natin, marami siyang bloatware apps na kasama. You can easily uninstall these by steady pressing the app icon then clicking uninstall. The IQ Neo 9 is powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 with a Q1 chip to improve the gaming experience by offering a stable frame rate. It also has a VC liquid cooling chamber of 6043mm squared and a double layer capillary power pump to help manage its temperature. I tried a quick benchmark test to Antutu and nakakuha siya ng 1.6 million points which which is very impressive. I played two quick games sa Wild Rift for 45 minutes and 14% ang nabawa sa battery. So that's about 7% per game. 
Yung CPU temp naman is at 39 degrees. Naging smooth din yung gameplay ko and connection was stable. Sa Call of Duty Mobile, wala din naging problem since we are using last year's flagship chipset. Sobrang smooth yung movements and wala kang mapapansin mga stutters or frame drops. The screen was really responsive thanks to its 144Hz refresh rate na critical sa mga games kagaya nito na fast paced and reaction sensitive. Medyo may konting pag init ako na naramdaman lalo na sa may camera area. Pero hindi naman naka-apekto sa performance. I'll do a non-stop gaming test featuring the hottest games for our next video. So make sure to check that out. Moving on to the camera. Our 16MP selfie cam is located at the center with a punch hole design. This can shoot 1080p videos at 30fps which is pretty standard sa ganitong price point. Sa likod naman, we have a 50MP main cam paired with an 8MP ultra wide. Meron din siyang OIS. So we can expect smooth and stable videos. I've taken a few pics and videos and here are the results. The IQ Neo 9 is another flagship killer phone that gives you 120 watt fast charging, a premium design, and flagship performance without breaking the bank. It is set to take on the likes of Xiaomi's K70 with an almost identical spec sheet. Pero ang advantage niya for me is the design, performance, and yung focus on gaming. So what do you guys think? Is the IQ Neo 9 the new flagship killer this 2024? Let me know in the comments down below. So that's it. See you in the next one.